What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Dolphin emulator on Windows so that you can play GameCube and Wii games. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to use a real Wii remote to play Wii games with this emulator. The first thing you will need to download is 7-Zip. We will use this to extract the emulator file. The link to this page is in the description below. Okay, let's head on over to dolphinmu.org. The link to this page is in the description below. Once you're here, go ahead and click on Download Dolphin 5.0. We're gonna scroll down to Development Versions and we're gonna click on the latest one, which is 5.0.18.505. And I'm gonna download this for Windows X64. And your download should start. The emulator is now downloaded and I have saved it onto my desktop. Now we need to use 7-Zip to extract this file. So let's right click on it, go to 7-Zip and extract the Dolphin Master 5.0. Once it's done extracting, you will get a folder containing all your extracted files. You no longer need this file so we can right click and delete. Let's open that folder, click on Dolphin X64 and this will be your emulator right here. Let's open it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is go up to config and the only thing you wanna check in here is make sure your speed limit is at 100%. If it's not at 100%, you need to change it to 100% normal speed. Also, by default, auto update settings is gonna be on once a month. If you would like to change the Dolphin emulator to be updated multiple times a day, or if you don't want any updates at all, you could change that to don't update or multiple times a day. I'm fine with once a month. Now let's go over to graphics. For the back end, I'm gonna change this to OpenGL for the best performance. If your PC doesn't have a graphics card and your games are lagging, then you may wanna come back here and try Direct3D 11 or Direct3D 12 to see if that smooths your gameplay out. For the aspect ratio, I'm gonna change this to force to 16 to nine. This is totally optional. I prefer to play my games full screen. Now in some cases, some games may look a little stretch, but I prefer to play in 16 to nine instead of playing four to nine, which is the original GameCube aspect ratio. That will give you two bars on the side. Go ahead and check the box to turn on V-Sync. This will make sure you have no screen tearing and make sure start in full screen is checked so every time you start a game, the game will start in full screen. And down here at the bottom, make sure you check compile shaders before starting. This will prevent your game from stuttering during gameplay and it will load all of your shaders before you load the game. Now let's go over to enhancements. For the internal resolution, you can go all the way up to 5K, but that depends on what type of monitor you have. I only have a 1080p monitor, so I'm gonna stick with 1920 by 1584 1080p. If you want to smooth out some jagged edges from your games, then you can turn on anti-aliasing, but note, the higher you go, the more demanding the emulator will be on your system. And the same thing goes for texture filtering. You could turn this on if you would like, but the higher you go, once again, it will be more demanding on your system. So you can play around with both of those if you would like and see how your performance is, but I prefer to leave them both alone. Now, since I chose to play my games at an aspect ratio of 16 to nine, you will notice that widescreen hack is checked. If you put your resolution at four to three, you will not have widescreen hack checked. Having this checked will just make sure that all of your games will play in widescreen. And once again, this is totally optional. It's just the way I prefer to play my games in widescreen. We are finished here. Let's go ahead and hit close. Now we're gonna set up our controller. So let's go up to controllers. Next to port one, make sure it says standard controller and hit configure. Under device, we're gonna hit the little drop down arrow. Now I'm gonna be using an Xbox One controller with this emulator. I know that most wired controllers will work as well. Now since I'm using an Xbox One controller, I'm gonna select Bluetooth XI input compatible input device. Now we're gonna come down to buttons and to set up our buttons, all you wanna do is click in the box next to the button you wanna set up. So we're gonna start with the A button, click in the box and then hit whatever button on your controller you want to be A, B, whatever button you want to be B, X, Y, and you just wanna repeat that same thing for the D-pad and your triggers. Now for your control stick, which is your left analog stick, you will have to click the up button and then move your left analog stick up, move it down, 
left, right. Repeat the same thing for your C stick, which will be your right analog stick. Hit the up, move your analog stick up, down, and so on. Once you have your controller laid out, you wanna come up to profile, click in the box, and go ahead and give this layout a name. I'm just gonna call it player one, and then hit save. And now we can go ahead and close. Now let's load our games into the emulator. So right here, it says double click here to set a game directory. So go ahead and double click, and you wanna locate wherever you have your GameCube ROM stored on your PC. In my case, I keep mine on an external hard drive. Select that folder where the games are located, and also make sure your ROMs are in an ISO format. And then you wanna hit select folder. And just like that, your game should load in with cover art. Now let's go ahead and load up a game and I'm gonna select Billy Hatcher in the Giant Egg. Now for the Wii side of things on Dolphin, nothing has changed on how to set up and use a Dolphin bar and a real Wii remote. So I'm gonna switch over to an older video I did on that setup right now. What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a real Wii remote as well as a nunchuck to play Nintendo Wii games on the Dolphin emulator. Now, this is all made possible using this device right here called the Mayflash Dolphin Bar. And I will leave the Amazon link to this in the description below so you guys can pick one up if you like what you see. And right now it's on sale for $30. The Dolphin Bar will plug into any USB port on your PC. Now to turn on the Dolphin Bar, you will find the power button right here on the back. Go ahead and hit that and you're gonna see this little blue button. Now there are four different modes you can put your Dolphin Bar in. Mode one is for keyboard and mouse. Mode two is for keyboard and mouse game mode. Mode three is for controller support. And mode four is real Wii remote. And that's what we want mode four because we're gonna be using a real Wii remote. Now, depending on where you're gonna have this Dolphin Bar on your monitor, if you're gonna have it at the top, you need to make sure this is switched to top and if you're gonna have it at the bottom, you need to make sure you have it on the bottom. Now, I'm gonna have it at the top of my monitor, so I'm gonna leave it on top. We turn it back over. When you're ready to sync up a Wii remote, what you wanna do is hit this button right here that says sync. And it's gonna start blinking. Then you wanna grab your Wii remote, go ahead and turn it over, take the back off, and right here, you're gonna see your sync button. Go ahead and press that. Give it a minute and your Wii remote is gonna be synced and there we are synced as player one. And just to show you guys why I placed my Dolphin Bar is on top of my webcam. Now go ahead and open the Dolphin emulator and to make sure our Dolphin Bar and our Wii remote is synced up to the emulator, you wanna go up to controllers and you wanna make sure under Wii remotes that emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter is checked and that Wii Remote 1, 2, 3, or 4, however many Wii remotes you're using, are on real Wii Remote. And to make sure everything is synced up, go ahead and hit refresh. And once you hit that, you should hear your Wii Remote vibrate, letting you know that it's synced to the emulator. Now let's go ahead and close. Now let's load some Wii games into the Dolphin emulator. So right here where it says double click here to set a games directory, go ahead and double click. And we're gonna locate our games. In my case, I keep my Wii ROMs on an external hard drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and locate those. There's the folder, games, and then hit select folder. And your game should load in. Now let's go ahead and load up a game so you guys can see that this works. And we're gonna load up Wii Sports Resort. <laughs> 